today we are going back in time into the last 10 MLB The Show games to hit a home run with the Home Run King every year. We begin in MLB The Show 14 with Nelson Cruz, who hit 40 home runs in the 2014 season. And we are here now in MLB The Show 14 with Nelson Cruz, and we're doing a home run derby for MLB The Show 14 and 15 because if you play these games on PS5, for some reason, the game crashes in a regular exhibition game, so Nelson Cruz will just have to go 404 here at Target Field, and why not get one more home run since we're in the Derby, and it's super easy to hit them and watch someone knock it out. MLB The Show 15, another Baltimore Oriole. This time, it's Chris Davis who hit 47 home runs in the 2015 season. So now at the Great American Ballpark here in Cincinnati, another home run derby for Chris Davis. Final one we're going to do in a home run derby. After this, we will be doing real games and hitting home runs with the home run champion in an actual game. And right now, two outs for Chris Davis. This is when the derby used to run on outs still. We got to stop pulling the ball completely foul. And we can't ground out either. How about this time? That's got to be gone. Absolutely crushed. Chris Davis, 368 projected distance, 395. Can he go back to back? Tried it with Cruz, and we can't do it with Davis either. And moving the show 16, third year in a row with a Baltimore Oriole. I completely forgot about Mark Trumbo. He hit 47 home runs in this year. So now we are in an actual game, and you could have gave me a million guesses, and I never would have guessed that Mark Trumbo hit the most home runs in 2016, as we are going to fly out here in Baltimore, third straight year for an Oriole. I kind of forgot about these mid-2010 Orioles. I'm not going to lie, but they had some sluggers. Cruz. Chris Davis before he batted, what, 0 for 50? That one terrible streak. And Mark Trumbo is going to send this one to the moon. With the normal left field there at Camden Yards, no idea why they pushed that back in future years. And for the first time in an actual game, we trot around the bases. No home run derby home run here, and we get to see the replay. Trumbo, 447 feet. That could be the furthest home run that we hit in this entire video. That's a home run derby distance in a real game. 2017 is John Carlos Stanton, 88 overall, massive power against both sides, and he hit 59 home runs this year. And here comes Stanton stepping up to the plate. This was a year of home runs. Judge hit over 50 in the American League. Stanton, though, hit 59 in the National League for, I believe, his MVP season. What a year it was for John Carlo. If we had this John Carlo on the Yankees, I mean, he hits home runs when he plays. He just doesn't stay healthy. But if we had 59 home run, John Carlos Stanton to go at 62 from Judge, Yankees win the World Series. I do not like the way this park used to look. I like the color scheme they have going on now in Miami. That ball's going to get through. That's a lucky hit right there. Rendon's still on the team. Trey Turner, we're facing the Nationals. We're facing Max Scherzer on the mound. It's really funny to see this old Nationals team. See one right here, John Carlo. John that might be the nastiest animation I've ever seen of that stays fair. John Carlo Stanton. Way fair. Way gone. I've never seen that animation. I don't know if that's just an MLB The Show 17, but I have never seen that in my life. How far was that ball hit? Trombo, I believe, went 446. With that animation, that'd be 600. Let's see what we got. 446! Did he tie Trombo? When I go back to edit this, I gotta see if they have the same distance. That is crazy. I'm pretty sure they both hit it. 446. Almost 113 off the bat. 28 degree launch angle. Pretty sure he broke the scoreboard in Miami at some point. And he just hit it again. And will be the show 18. We have Chris Davis. But it's not the same Chris Davis that we used earlier. Earlier was the Orioles. Now we have Chris Davis of the Athletics with 48 home runs in the 2018 MLB season with the Oakland A's. 94 power against right. 84 against left. I enjoy going back to these old MLB games because I get to use players that I don't really use anymore. Both Chris Davis, Mark Trumbo. I don't remember the last time I used Mark Trumbo in an MLB game. Stanton I've used recently. He's still really good. He's had some good cards in Diamond Dynasty in MLB The Show 23 previous years. We're going to use Chris Davis with the A's. I mean, that hasn't happened in a long time. And that one would have been long gone if it was fair. I am struggling against Otani to hit a home run right now. Come on, Chris Davis. We're better than this. There we go. Chris Davis, see you later. If we hit another home run, 446, I swear. And that was pretty deep. 456 this time. There's no doubt animation there for Chris Davis. That ball was blasted. 150 on the bat, 25 degree launch angle, and 456 feet. And will be the show 19. I believe a rookie Pete Alonso hit 53 home runs for the New York Mets. He has 98 power against right, 99 against left, and an 88 overall in his first year. We have Pete Alonso here at the plate. 
Rookie Pete Alonso, 53 homers. And I just realized how good the graphics actually look at MLB The Show 19 compared to 18, just one year prior. And that's a terrible picture of Pete in center field, but let's hit a home run. Oh, that ball is blasted down the line. That's a good defensive play, but we are on. We don't really care though to be on. We want to be back in the dugout with a home run. We want this over the fence. That one again going to be towards the line. We're pulling everything, which is not a good enough swing. But this time, this time is the charm. That ball is elevated. Does it have enough? Will it go? It's caught. I'm just going to stop power swinging and let the ball come to the bat. And that's exactly what happens when I do that. That's going to hit the sweets over there. Almost did in left field. That one by Pete Alonso. And for some reason, MLB The Show 19 doesn't give you the distance. We got exit velo at 110, 25 degree launch angle. Do we get the distance? I feel like they never do give it. Where is it? Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. And will be the show 20. Luke Voigt hit the most home runs in the COVID shortened season with 22 home runs and I think 60 games, which is insane. 99 power against both sides for Voigt this year. If I am being honest, I do not remember Luke Voigt hitting this many home runs and leading the league in home runs in the COVID season. What a weird season that was, but 22 home runs in 60 games. I mean, that is insane. And Voyage just hit his 23rd, because in the movie, the show 20, a power swing deep into the Bronx stands here at Yankee Stadium, 401 feet, 103.1 off the bat. I bet you didn't think the first Yankee you saw in this video was going to be Luke Voigt. Nonetheless, Luke Voigt, miss him on the Yankees. He had some really good seasons for us, especially this one, obviously. Played really, really good. And we'll be the show 21 now. And we actually have our only tie for the home run leader of the last 10 years. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. tied with 48 home runs. He has 99 power against right and 92 against left. And the player he tied with is none other than Salvador Perez for the Kansas City Royals, who also hit 48 home runs this year. 89 power against righties and 99 against left. So we will be hitting a home run with both Vlad and Salvi. We started off with Vlad. I just missed an easy home run on a fastball inside Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Gotta get used to these slower pitches. Was playing a game on Legend earlier today. That does not do you any favors when you hop onto an easier difficulty. What a dot though. And for a strike here, I'm looking to send this one 450 plus with Vlad. That one's gonna get down. It might get over the wall actually. Off the top of the wall. That's gonna be a double for Vlad if he gets in there. That was not a great swing. It almost got out. That's how much power he has. We get an opportunity to pull a pitch here. No, but a no doubt animation, so it doesn't really matter. That one might go double deck or upper deck. I always say double deck for some odd reason. 393 though, opposite field for Vlad. Not the furthest home run we're hitting this video, but still a no doubter. And the ball, I mean, we pretty much are getting everything outside, not inside for the most part. So you can't really pull that baseball, but Vlad can go out and get it. Now it's Salvi's turn in MLB The Show 21. He gets to go up against a lefty. And that ball was power swung, 99 power, but again, away. Can't pull it. Davi can easily send this ball 450 plus if he got it to pull it. But kind of like Vlad, he had to send it Apo Taco into the bullpen. But it was a perfect, perfect. It was 382. It was 103 off the bat. And it was a home run. Went out and got that one. 99 power against lefties. You don't have to hit it too well, but we hit it the best you could. Perfect, perfect. And that one's gone. MLB The Show 22 time, and you know who it was. Last year, Judge set the American League record. 62 home runs, 99 power against right, 99 against left, 99 overall. We can do much better than that. There's a little bit better, but still not as far as I wanted, but I will settle for that one. Aaron, Judge, I'm going to say like 395. Okay, 415. Got over 400. I will take it. Judge hit 62. Now make it 63. And a home run for Aaron Judge. And for the 2023 season so far at the time I'm recording this video, Pete leads the MLB with 20 home runs, 90 power against right, 97 against left. He's a 90 overall. And like I did for Aaron Judge, we are tossing this one right over the middle. I want to see, can Pete top Aaron Judge's score? Oh, you bet he can. If that ball is not 450 plus, I don't know what baseball. We'll be hit 450 plus. Second deck. Four, 417? That was only two feet further than Aaron Judge's home run. That ball looks like it could have landed at my house. That's how far he hit that ball. That's insane. He only went 417. We've seen a few 440s. I think one 450. Definitely thought that one was hit further. That's gonna do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, make sure to check out my other channels and also make sure to follow me over on my social media. But I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace.